On the testing front, as of yesterday, we've tested a total of 81,344 individuals. And yesterday alone, we conducted 4,900 tests. Just a few weeks ago, we set a goal of 3,500 tests a day, and we've been exceeding it pretty much every day since. Thanks to a lot of hard work, we continue to perform uh, at a level above where we anticipated, and we're one of the top testers in the country on a per capita basis. We're continuing to explore new testing sites, and we'll have a new mobile testing site at the Big E Fairgrounds in West Springfield shortly. It will supplement a site at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough that launched earlier this week. These are mobile testing sites, and each will perform about 200 tests a day by appointment for first responders and other emergency management workers. It's good progress on testing as we continue to see an increase in tests. Obviously, we've also seen an increase in a number of confirmed cases. We're up to about 15,202 cases here in Massachusetts, with 1,365 new cases being reported yesterday. As we've said before, through extensive modeling with our command center's medical advisory committee and public health experts, we expect to see a surge in cases that could potentially peak sometime between April 10th and April 20th. We're continually reviewing the modeling, but right now we see evidence that we're still on the upward slope of this pandemic. For example, the average new positive test in Massachusetts has been rising steadily for three weeks. The percent of people testing positive continues to rise and reached a new high on Monday, where about 30% of all tests conducted were positive and remained high on Tuesday, where about 28% of all tests conducted were positive. And obviously we have, unfortunately, seen continued fatalities associated with this virus. At the same time, we've not seen the same steep acceleration seen in either Wuhan, New York, or other places, which means we're cautiously optimistic that our social distancing, essential services orders, and other measures that we and others have put in place are helping to flatten the curve. These remain, and I'll say it again, our most effective weapons to contain the disease, and we're grateful to all of the Commonwealth's residents for doing their part by following them. But as I said before, this is not a time to get complacent. In fact, it means the opposite. We are entering a period of time where we could be putting serious strain on our health care system and our hospitals. So everyone needs to continue to hold up their end of the deal. Stay home, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, wipe surfaces, clean off commonly used elements like doorknobs, and stand at least six feet apart and wear a mask or cover your face if you have to go out. And this isn't just about protecting yourself. Continue to remember that. It's also about protecting the people who need the most protection, other people, older people, and those with health conditions.